is embarrassing. Oh, great. Ah, Captain Good Samaritan. Oh. Dad. Yeah. Why? Do we have to push the car every Thursday? Well, actually, that's really kind of simple. You see, we have so many miles to cover every week, and there's no time to fill the gas tank. So we just have to push through the last couple of days. Do you think maybe it'd be faster to drive to the gas station and fill up the tank than to push the van seven miles? You're being lazy. Why don't you get pushing? No, that's ridiculous, right? I mean, who is really going to push their vehicle every stinking Thursday? Well, what do we do in our lives? But let's be honest, how much do we try to cram in every day of our week and we end up being emotionally and spiritually drained? And we just try to keep pushing in more and more and we run out of gas and we end up asking our friends and family, can you push me to make it to the weekend? I've got to admit, this week, I don't think I made it to Thursday. I think it was Monday when I started asking friends and family to push me. I am so sorry. Now, on the one hand, we can say, well, that's just the way life is, but does it have to be? Do we have to keep trying to get that same mileage and draining our emotional and spiritual health every week? Because it doesn't just affect our individual health, it affects the church health too. I think about it. If we're pushing through every week, we show up for church, we show up virtually or in person at some point, and we say, beep, beep, hey, pastor, fill up my tank. I'm completely drained. I can't make it through another week unless you give me something good. That's a church consumer. We're not contributing to church. You know, we just get in this trap of trying to cram way too much in and just running out of gas. Too much mileage and not filling up our gas tank throughout the week. In this week ahead, I'm going to drop two things that I've been consistently doing that I really don't need to do. And I'm going to pick up one thing, spending more time with Jesus. Now, on the one hand, you can say, well, that's a simple thing, right? It's pretty tricky to lay things down. I hope you join me in the challenge this week. Here's to a healthy week ahead. Let's push some more, Seth. Ah. Ah.